And within just the past hour, we've obtained the cell phone video. And the video you are about to see really demonstrates how close of a call this was. Detectives worked to piece together the events leading up to this impact. We ask that anybody who perhaps saw something to come forward and provide us with this information. Miami Fire Rescue for the message tonight. Tonight we're getting a new insight into when Wright and Hermione opened that room from South Florida's rail line. A Bright Line spokesperson said they hoped to open the line sometime in 2022. That's when construction should be finished. However, safety inspections are expected to last a couple of months. That might mean that you won't be able to catch a ride actually to Orlando until 2020. We're a few months away from being able to take a high speed train from Orlando to Miami and some other South Florida hot spots. We can't say to a lot of folks with bright line officials who say they have finally set an opening date on their facility at Orlando International Airport. In either direction. Brightline reminds you that trains and cars don't mix. Always expect the train. Look, listen, and live. Be safe and stay off the train tracks. The future is better than the Brightline High Speed Railroad. The future of passenger rail in America will be served by Brightline. A private railway in Florida that focuses on a more conventional real estate. Strategy combined with a new, more streamlined form for customer experience. By regard to all of the corporations, the right line has a lot to offer. The Florida has been the location of the right line, but now it is finally growing. Recent events have given the green light for the start of Bright Line West, a new Bright Line expansion on the west coast of the United States. To learn more about America's Bright Line High Speed Railroad, continue watching the video. To stay up with the latest transit and infrastructure news, subscribe to our channel, Grand Boca Raton and West Palm Beach is now on the first Currently, the privately sponsored multi billion dollar rail service whisks travelers between these important cities at 79 miles per hour on fancy trains that are pushed together by diesel fuel, while giving friendly first rate service all the way. A rarity in travel these days. Currently, a right line connects three significant cities by Miami or Florida and West Palm Beach, as well as the two smaller towns of Atlanta and Boca Raton. At the time of the occasion, there were 10 other trains per day running between Miami and West Palm Beach, with seven of those trains stopping in Fort Lauderdale and 11 more making stops in Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, and Boca Raton. The journey takes 17 minutes between Miami and Aventura. 30 minutes between Miami and Fort Lauderdale, 16 minutes side. between Fort Lauderdale and Boca Raton, and 35 minutes between Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach. These time frames are less than half as long as the right line of the line. And the right line of the line is taking the right line. The right 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 line
Coming up in this bright line construction update. Are on the way. This means we're getting closer to having high speed trains connecting Central to South Florida. Fox 35's Nestor Macho got to check his business train plant near his YA. This bright line construction update looks at some rail train activity on the Orlando to Miami road. Well, we don't know the exact date yet, which leads to some of the points to be the next one. So, 
Calvin Nicole, the science is clear, but the investigators are still trying to figure out the how, the why, the screeching, the sound of the tires, the impact. Those are sounds and images that witnesses tell us they will never be able to get off their feet. It is difficult and stunning to watch this bright light train cloud into this white Mercedes SUV, crushing it, pushing it several hundred Cell phone video shows Miami Dade Fire Rescue responding. Driver inside her vehicle died upon him. Letters of Fini says he was driving home Friday afternoon. train hit a car hauler so hard it cut it in half. This happened yesterday in Hollywood in Broward County. The man who shot this video says he saw the big truck spinning out because it was stuck. Somehow no one was hurt. In one Thank you for 